Hi kids! Thanks for tuning in again for Ray Bash's Torah Thoughts for Kids. These are Torah portions just for you. And today we're going to be talking about the Torah portion called Noah. And it's taken from Genesis chapter 6 verse 9 all the way to chapter 8 verse 14. And you're probably going to expect that I'm going to talk about Noah's Ark and talk about the flood. Well, not really. I'm sure you know about Noah's Ark and about all the animals that were taken on the Ark, even dinosaurs. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the flood. Have you ever had a ball, like this big beach ball, and maybe you were playing outside with it and it got all dirty and it got all muddy? Well, how are you going to clean it off? Well, that's easy, isn't it? You're going to take a water hose and you're just going to wash it all off and it's going to be clean again and you can play with it, right? Right. But did you know that there's some things that get so dirty and so messed up that even water can't clean it? It's true. For instance, like metal. Metal that comes out of the ground, you know, like gold or silver, you know, it's not pure yet. You have to clean it up and water's not going to clean it up. How is it going to be cleaned? It's going to have to be cleaned by fire. That's right. Gold and silver has to be melted down until it's a liquid and all the dirt and gunky stuff rises to the top and the people that are refining the gold and silver just skim off all the dirty stuff and once it cools off and becomes solid, it's a clean, pure piece of gold or silver. Now see, the world got so dirty and got so sinful with sin that the first time God had a flood to wipe out all the sin on the, on the earth. It's almost as if God gave the world a great big bath and he cleaned all the world off and the only people that were left were Noah and his family and Noah was a good and righteous man and loved God very much but you know what since Noah's time the world's gotten dirty again the world's gotten dirty with sin and it's gotten so dirty that water's not gonna clean it anymore God can't use a flood to clean the world anymore he promised he'd never do that again that's what rainbows are all about when we see a rainbow in the sky God promised us that he'll never flood the entire world all over again like he did with Noah and the flood. Sure, there's going to be floods in certain places, you know, rivers are going to uh, flood and, and things like that, but not the whole world, just only little places here and there. So if the world's so dirty and the world's so sinful, how's God going to clean it this time if water won't do? God's going to have to use fire. Yep, because even Peter, in one of his books, it talks about 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 9-14. through 14. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. But the day of the Lord is like a thief in the night, in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. Boom! And the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. The earth also and the works therein shall be burned up. So see, God's going to clean the world with fire. But don't worry. Just like he protected Noah and his family from the flood, if you believe in God and you walk in the footsteps of Yeshua, our Messiah, by walking and following the Torah, and you have Yeshua in your heart, we're going to be saved just like Noah. We're not going to be burned up when God cleans the earth again with fire. No, we're going to be uh, taken with him and, and safe while he cleans the world with fire and all the sin and all the bad people and all that will be cleaned up. And then we're going to get to live on the new heaven and the new earth as it says in Revelation that there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth and even a new Jerusalem. And we're going to be able to live on this new earth forever. But just as he cleaned the world the first time during Noah's flood with water, the world's going to have to have a bath a second time, but it's going to have a bath through fire. And once the world is all purged and cleaned like like a pure piece of gold or silver, the new earth, the new heavens and the new earth are going to be clean and pure again, and we're going to be able to live upon it, and there's not going to be any sin or any bad people anymore. So that's the Torah portion for today. Thanks for watching, kids. Tune in again next time. See ya. Bye.